One of the most important items for a traveler that's also minimalist is to find the perfect backpack. And I tested so many, so this one is one of my favorites. It's called the Peak Design Travel Backpack, and I use it for a whole year. I went around mostly in America, so you can see the videos are already posted. I have some shots uh, like packing and unpacking it, and I like it so much. Like that's why today I just want to give you like a very quick long-term review of using the whole backpack for a whole year. So to start quickly, let me tell you what are the pros. The first one is this very spacious it's it's big like it's expandable you can start in 35 liters but you can expand it to 45 liters and it's a whole big space you can put almost anything that you want then it actually looks pretty nice it has a sleek design and undercover it doesn't shout tourists what it makes it better is all the accessories that you can buy next to the backpack like the packing cubes one of the best what i ever tried if you get all the accessories that are made for this backpack you're gonna like it a lot now the cons is it's a little bit heavy for what it is there are other backpacks that are way lighter than this one once i took a spirit fly where they actually made me measure the whole backpack because they thought it was more than a carry-on so on that look it's a little bit of a hassle when you actually travel a lot. And even though I said on the pros that it's expandable, it's kind of one of the downsides because if you're a minimalist, you try to travel with less, this backpack will actually make you feel that you can bring more and more. And one downside of the design of the backpack is the heat strap. Like the way that are made, it doesn't look that very professional. And when you're actually putting it on and you start moving around and carrying all the weight, it just feels a little bit clumsy. So I will just hope for the next iterations they just improve that and it will be ideal for long travel but now let me open it up and i'm gonna show you everything that i carry with me so i just put it here flat and what i love about the whole bag is that you can actually open it very very easy just with these zips and voila it just opens flat like that and you have two spaces so we have here the laptop compartment and i just like that i just open this and lay it flat and when you go through the security area it just they don't check anything because they know that the computer is here so let me just take it out first you have here the laptop and you can also there's a small space you can put your ipad if that's what you bring first thing that you're gonna see is this packable backpack that is from air it's called the go pack and it's just so flat so nice to use i'm gonna show you the end how i use it but right now i'll just put it here aside and we have everything in pouches and if you travel a lot one of the key things that you need to know that you have to have everything in single pouches that have each one a purpose so let's start with this. This is the ultra light down from Uniqlo. This is my jacket that it just packs so small because I'm not always going to winter or cold places. I just like to have one small one just in case I need it. And then uh, we have here like the Nintendo Switch because I love to play video games. So I have this small Tom Tuck pack. And then I have this pocket monkey. Uh, it's just like to do exercises. I love this thing. And then in the middle of all of the other pouches, I have the drone here so it can be protected. And uh, it's just spacious enough to, to have it there. So next I have here the tech pouch that I use it for everything that I uh, need for my laptop, for my camera, like batteries. And it's, you can see like how spacious this thing is. I just love it to put every single tech accessory in this bag. And with a similar design, they have the wash pouch, but I don't use it because I already have this one from Air. It's called the Air Top Kit. And it's actually kind of the same size of the wash pouch or deck pouch. So like either the wash or the top kit, they're both really nice to, to have all your like uh, bathroom and all the cleaning accessories, right? And then I have here the mouse and the keyboard all from Apple. You can see it's like perfect fit for the keyboard and and the mouse. Then the roof stand that I used to just put the laptop on a eye level, which I have another video explaining the whole reason why do I travel with a stand, the whole ergonomic thing of working uh, with your computer. So you just check the link if you wanna know more about that. Now let me show you the big design accessories that are very well suited for this backpack, which are the, the packing cubes. Here's the medium, here's the small, and also this shoe pouch. So let me just take everything out, explain you quickly. So, everything aside this is the shoe pouch and what i like about it is like the material is so thin and as you can see like i have here my sandals 
But what I love about it is that you can just close it and if you have like bad smells of the sandal or something like that, like the others won't come out. So, and you can wash this thing whenever it feels like it's too dirty. It's this way, yeah. In this very, very small bag, which is cool, no? And now the packing cubes, this is the medium size and look like how easy it just opens up. You know, like it's, it's amazing, right? So I have here all my shirts that I have, I usually bring around four or five of them, shirts and even, you know, like all my clothing goes in the medium one. And then here I just put like boxers, socks, and even a small towel and a, and a, and a neck puff of like the underwear. I like to separate it from the clothing. That's why I have the medium and the small one. And if you see my travel videos, I unpack everything and I use this small packable bag so I can just move around or to the coffee shop or something like that. So let me show you how I use this uh, air go pack. So I have here my computer and I put it in this uh, small slot. And then I have the keyboard. So I just put it somewhere there, the roof stand. And I have a space, you know, like if I, when I shoot the drone or something like that, I'll also put it there. And my jacket, if it becomes a little bit cold. And yeah, as you can see, just put it, everything over here and I can just move around. So more features about this pack. What I love about it is that, so the hip straps, you can hide them and uh, where, where you don't want them, just hide them and just, it looks pretty nice. And then I don't like this thing too much. This is the, the sternum strap. And it's a little bit annoying to, to click it on the other side and to tighten it up. It's not my favorite. And if we open it again, so it has like this small area where I put some papers or something that I might use. I don't use it that often, but not, not, not even this one. Like, you know, I can put like, I don't know, small like cards or pencils, but like, cause I have the other pouches. I don't need this too much. But one thing that I actually use, we turn it around, is this small area that just for quick access where I put my glasses, where I put the passport, and some other things that I need, maybe the airports, like the things that I use when I'm traveling, I just like to put them here. So this backpack was designed by a company called Peak Design, and their main focus is photographers. I forgot to mention that I have my camera that I'm recording right now, my tripod, and I usually don't fit it here. Well, the tripod, I put it here, one of the sides, but the camera itself, so there's this camera cube from the whole same company. Just, if you can see, just open, and I can put the camera and the lens and everything, and use it in one of the sides of, this backpack, but as you can see, like it will take a lot of the space. So I tend to not to use it, but I'm just gonna mention if you want the camera cube. Instead, I use the capture accessory from the same company that it lets me put it on the shoulder and doesn't fold at all. And sometimes I use another accessory from them. There's the cuff and I just attach it to the shoulder and I can use one of the anchor links from Peak Design and I just leave it there. Sometimes I use the tripod. It's just a different ways to carry the camera. So yeah, there you have it. This is the Peak Design Travel Backpack. As I told you, it's one of my favorites to, to use and travel with. If you wanna know more, if you wanna buy it, I'm gonna put the links down there, description of everything that I mentioned, and it will support the channel if you click and buy them. So thank you if you do so. And yeah, let me know if you like this review. I will make another reviews, maybe of everything that I use, like small and precise for each item. Let me know, let me know in the comments. If you liked it, subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more travel, digital nomad content, because I'm gonna travel soon. I'm gonna show you very cool content soon. So thank you, see you in the next one.